R2 the motherfucking dog. What's up, world? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy R2, man, and we back with another banger. You know what I'm saying? Uh, first and foremost, man, I want to thank all the people that's been, you know, tapping in from all over. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all, man, especially the people that's been leaving comments, you know, whether it be positive, negative. You know what I'm saying? We take it all. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, I want y'all to go down there, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all show support, man. It don't cost you a dime, man, to, you know, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe, you know what I'm saying, and watch these videos all the way through. You dig what I'm saying? Because you know I got these real good stories for you. You know you know your boy R2 going to keep it lit, and we're going to keep it 100 on these stories, man. Never lie, never tell a, never tell a suck a lie, none of that. We're going to keep it straightforward. We're going to keep it real, and we're going to keep it authentic. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Excuse me. Now let's jump right on in there, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so at this point um, – this is a story, man, about how I cracked it off with the neighborhood car, you know, on the pod, man, on one of the pods I was on, you know what I'm saying? Turned it into an all-out war, all-out brawl, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man, one day. Um, so this is around the Al-Qaeda time, you know what I mean? The Al-Qaeda movement, man. I didn't already explain to y'all what that is. But just in case somebody knew and they don't know, well, Oklahoma, Oklahoma County Jail, um, it was a movement, man, the Al-Qaeda movement. Well, you know, the Al-Qaeda movement stems from, you know, um, around 2005, 2006, you know, and up, you know, the neighborhood dudes, man, they just had a real bad reputation for, you know, um, being real deep on pods. And if you was a blood, if you was a playboy, if you was a Hoover, if you was, you know, any kind of, you know, a trade gangster, any of that, you know what I'm saying? Um, anything that wasn't, you know, tied to the hood car or have had an alliance with the hood car, you know, they would, uh, you know, what we call uh, pack you out, you know, basically, you know, jump on you, beat you out. You know what I mean? It's going to be unfair. It's going to be about 10 to 15, maybe seven, you know, eight or nine of them at a time. You know what I'm saying? So the Al Qaeda movement was started, you know, well, that was basically like a, you know, unspoken alliance between the bloods, you know, the gangster crips, you know, um, and the Hoovers, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's how I was moving, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm on the pod this, at this time. Now, when I first get to the pod, I'm in the cell with a neighborhood cat, you know what I mean? Now, this dude, man, he he had a name in the streets, you know, and um, a chick that I consider my big sister, you know, Lady Dice, you know, from the foe, you know, uh, from Pyru, you know, she used to look out for me back in the day, you know, and... Uh, when I was living on that west side, man, I didn't have too many allies on that west side. I was one of the only Damus on that west side at the time. You know, this is 2007, 2008, you know, time, you know, and I was living in uh, terrace apartments, you know what I'm saying? And that was the, you know, closest thing to family I had living in apartments with me, you know what I'm saying? And she used to, you know, I used to spend a lot of time at her crib, you know what I mean? It wasn't nothing, it wasn't nothing physical or nothing like that. You know, that was like a big sister to me. You know, I was running the streets doing all kind of dirt. You know, she was, you know, the type to tell me, hey, man, you need to sit down or don't do not do that. Or, you know, you need to chill out. You know, you got the apartments hot. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, but she used to mention this cat all the time. You know what I'm saying? I guess this used to be her dude or whatever. You know, she had, you know, close feelings for this dude. You know, so I had always heard about him, but I had never met the dude. You know what I'm saying? Now... I know y'all may be like, why are you in the cell with him? Well, you know, when you get to a pod, they just going to put you in your cell. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real dude, man. You know, it ain't no place I can't go in the penitentiary system. It ain't nobody that, you know, I'm going, I'm not going to let nobody tell me I can't be nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So if they just so happen to stick me in the cell with a, you know, dude that's a crip, I'm not tripping. You know what I'm saying? Now, Further arrangements can be made once the cool guard get on shift. If I want to move cells and be with the little homies or whatever, you know, but initially, this is the cell they stuck me in. So 
me and this dude, we was cool. You know, we was chopping it up. We know some of the same people. You know, we end up getting cool. I'm sharing my food with him, spreading. I'm only in there for a couple of days. I'm about to end up, you know, moving in with the little homies. You know what I'm saying? But for the time being, you know, I'm a, I'm messing with you. You know what I'm saying? So we chopping it up. You know, come to find out, we know some of the same people. You know, uh, yeah, you know, we done frequented some of the same spots. You know, he didn't heard my name, I didn't heard his. You know what I'm saying? So you know initially it's a mutual respect you know what i'm saying so so a couple of days go by we go on wreck now we go on wreck you know um it's some homies on the pod you know so when we come out for wreck you know they want to you know the homies you know we like being around each other and vice versa you know the crips like being around the crips the bloods like being around the bloods the hoovers prefer to be around the hoovers you know what i'm saying so you know we on the pod clicked up you know talking hanging out in each other's cell you know i used to go over there to the little homie cell and hang out, play cards, whatever, you know what I mean? Um, Look through their magazines, you know, all kind of stuff. You know what I mean? We just find stuff to do, you know, kick it, play cards, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So we all used to kind of be in one cell, you know what I'm saying, kicking it. So uh, the little homie, he kind of like, hey, big bro, uh, man, what you think about moving over here with us? You know, we can, they had another dude in their cell that wasn't a dog, you know. They like, man, we can move him around, get you up out the cell with that nigga, move you over here, you know, it'd be more comfortable. I'm like, bet that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't tripping. This ain't a must, but you know, um, I'd rather be over here with the homies, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather be with my with my niggas, you know what I'm saying? So, so I'm like, bet. So we get the move put down, blase, blase. So now I'm in the cell with the homie. He got a big cell too. You know, it's about three or four big cells on each pod. You know what I'm saying? But we still on the top run. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so yeah, I'm in the cell with the homie. So, you know, we kicking it every day, hanging out. You know, this is in all in a couple of days, three, four days max time period. You know what I'm saying? So we chilling one day in the cell. And, you know, now let me say this. The pod we was on was 8C. Now, 8C was notorious for being a place where neighborhood cats can't be. You know what I'm saying? And, and this ain't no shade or nothing. This is just the truth, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was a, it, it was a, you know, older figure from Playboy, you know, in the county at this time. Big Deuce, you know, if you was in the county around this time, you'd have heard the name before. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not boosting nobody's career or none of that. I'm just telling you what I seen with my own eyes. You know what I'm saying? And this dude was really an aggressive person you know what i'm saying and he was a gangbang person you know what i'm saying so he turned up you know he a little older than me you know he 40 or whatever you know what i'm saying so he older than me so this dude was turned up you know what i'm saying so um yeah he was putting the press down on anything neighborhood period you know what i'm saying now at one point in time he ran this pod you know what i'm saying and this pod was infamous for for being dangerous you know what i'm saying but you know at this time that this situation that i'm in is going on um you know this stuff then kind of died down a little bit but it was still you know kind of you know tension in the air you know what i'm saying so the little homie explained to me he like bro you know you notice you know you know they starting to be over here they ain't used to be over here you know what i'm saying blase blase or you know, before you got here, you know, they was, you know, acting like they was tripping or whatever, you know. So he raised his concerns or whatever, you know. And when he told me that, it kind of pissed me off a little bit because I'm like, you know, I, you know, I know they ain't thinking that, you know, we just going to lay down or whatever. You know, I don't know what was what was going through their mind before I got here, but I'm here now. So he kind of he kind of got my juice button started. You know what I'm saying? He got it in my head that you know we might have to get busy over here you know what i'm saying so i'm like all right so when we come out for rec you know we're gonna we're gonna see what's happening you know what i'm saying so i already kind of had it in my mind that i was supposed to do some some crazy stuff or some you know some erratic stuff but i didn't you know it 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 just i was just kind of going with the flow you know so uh so we out on the pod and it's wreck you know so the top come out with the top and the bottom come out with the bottom so we out, you know, on red. So we working out or whatever, you know, now I'm doing my little rounds. I used to walk the pie, what we call walking the pie, you know, walk the circle, you know, get some exercise, you know, get your thoughts together, you know, while you're doing your sets of push-ups or pull-ups or, you know, working out or whatever you're doing, you know what I'm saying? So I'm walking the pie and I catch a dude staring at me, man. It's this dude. Oh, now, this is a dude that I've seen on the pod. You know, I don't know the dude, but I know I know him from somewhere. I can't put my hands on him, 
But this day, I'm walking the pod, and I caught him staring at me. Now, anybody that know me know I can't stand for a person to stare at me. You know what I'm saying? And at this time, I'm I'm banging, I'm banged out, I'm tripping, you know, I'm aggressive, you know, I'm, I'm on everything moving. You know what I'm saying? Because I done already made my mind up once I got to the county jail that it was going to have to be a stay. You know, my bond is 100 some thousand. I ain't going nowhere, so it's balls to the wall. You know what I'm saying? So that's my mentality. So when I caught the dude staring at me, I knew he wasn't no blood. You know what I'm saying? So he had to be a crit. You know, and the way he was looking at me, it, man, if looks could kill, this dude was burning a hole through the side of my head. But when I turned and caught him staring at me and I and, and I got on him so quick, you know, I turned and I looked at him and I said, what's up, blood? You know me or something? And I did it so quick and so aggressive and so I bit him so quick, he didn't even have, you know, he didn't even want to respond because he was standing at somebody, another inmate's door that was on the bottom run talking through the little crack in the side. You know, he was talking through the crack. So, but he was staring at me while he was talking. His eyes was on me, but he, but he talking through the door. So when I did that, what's up, blood, you know me or something? You know, he instantly took his eyes off me and, and started back talking into the door. Man, the dude didn't even say nothing back to me, homie. You know what I'm saying? The dude didn't even say nothing back to me, homie. So I'm like, man, this dude, weenie, he ain't talking about nothing. You know what I'm saying? So later on, I'm going to find out that he really was looking at me, man. He, he he recognized me from somewhere or he knew that I was a blood or something because that look that he was looking at me, that meant he was supposed to try to get at me or something. But when I got on him, he was a weenie. So he really, he didn't even respond. He just kept talking to the, he act like he didn't hear me, kept talking to his homie in the door. You know what I'm saying? So. So I noticed that. I'm like, I kind of laughed it off. Like, you know, I'm feeling myself. I'm like, man, this nigga ain't talking about nothing. He know he don't want these problems. So I continue to walk the pod. You know what I'm saying? I'm walking. Now, me and my partner, me and my little partner, we didn't, you know, we didn't hooked up and we walking and talking. You know what I'm saying? We on the same partner. We walking and talking. Now, I kind of noticed, you know, the neighborhoods are starting to go upstairs and gather up in the corner like they having a meeting. You know what I'm saying? So that bothered me. You know what I'm saying? I'm turned up. You know, you nobody is gonna make me and my guys feel uncomfortable on this pod or or try to group up and run. We're not going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? This is how I'm thinking. This is how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? So as I'm walking, the same dude that I was in the cell with, you know, he's supposed to be like they big homie or whatever. You know, he's a known member of the neighborhood car. You know what I'm saying? Sixties. You know, to be to be specific, I ain't gonna say his name. I ain't into all that. You know what I'm saying? But you know, the people that know, they know. You know what I'm saying? This is a true story, though. I swear to God. So, uh, you know, he a big old dude, you know, and my partner that I'm walking with, you know, he's a little dude, you know, thin, you know, short, you know, but just my, you know, he a rider, though. You know what I'm saying? Just a homie. You know what I'm saying? So we walking and I catch the big dude sizing up my, 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 my homie. You know what I'm saying? He ain't look at me. But he, but he, he, he didn't pick the, the big, the big, I'm the big dude. You know, he ain't picked me. You know, he picked the little, the little dude. You know, he ain't no little homie or nothing. Me and bro, the same, you know, bro active, bro with the shit. You know what I'm saying? But he just small, you know, in body size. So he looking him up and down. So you know what? At that moment, I knew it was supposed to be some, it was supposed to be some static. You know what I'm saying? So I took it upon myself to stand up on the middle of the, and stand up in the middle of the day room on the table. I got up on the table and I stood up on the table and I said something to the effect of, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's bloods. You know what I'm saying? If any of you niggas got a problem with the bloods on this pod, you know, we need to address it right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's get it on. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of calling out the whole car. You know what I'm saying? I'm not kind of, I'm calling out the whole car. You know what I'm saying? And at this time, they had made it back downstairs. And they standing by cell 11, you know, half of them in the bathroom, some of them standing outside the bathroom, but they like they smoking a cigarette or whatever. So when I do this, you know, the only person that said something was the big dude that I was just in the cell with. You know what I'm saying? So he like, man, come over here. You know what I mean? Get off the table and come over here. So I hop off the table and I push. Now I'm standing face to face with about eight or nine dudes. Now, I can feel my homie's presence behind me, but I really don't know who's behind me because I ain't turned around to look. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm standing face to face with this dude. And now, I'm on him. I'm like, I'm like, I'm, and I, I'm telling him, I'm like, I'm like, Negro, I'm like, I just got out to sell with you. Ain't no way that you mugging the homie for one. And for two, 
you know, y'all acting like y'all having a meeting around here or something, like y'all trying to run somebody off the pod or something, nigga. You was you act like you was cool with me. You know what I'm saying? He, and he, and his first words was, nigga, I am cool with you. And he stole me. Boom. And there it go. I'm talking about, man, me and this dude, man, listen. Now, me and this dude initially start skiffling each other. We started at the bathroom. We going, me and him. Now, I noticed that same little dude that was staring at me, man, it's like he slid through this dude's legs from behind him like a baseball slide. This dude did a, ran, a, did a running baseball slide and slid through the big dude's legs and came up and started trying to swing at me too. But I wasn't even really paying him no mind. I'm digging in this big nigga's mix. You know what I'm saying? So me and the big dude, we trading him. Boom, 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 boom. Now, this is what pissed me off. Now, it's about nine of my homies. It's about nine or 10 of they homies. Now, as me and this dude is, is going at it, I'm getting hit from too many, you know what I mean? I'm getting hit from too many directions. I'm getting hit all in the back of my head. And, 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 and what I can remember was the most was getting hit in my ear and, and it, it rung, it rung my bell, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And all I can remember saying was, oh, blood. And I, and I shook it off. And at that time, the police hit the door, y'all. At that time, the police hit the door, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. Get down, get down, get down. Everybody get down. You know, they threatening to spray mace and all that. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So they put me in handcuffs first. They come snatch me up first. Put me in handcuffs first. Now, I ain't the smartest man in the world, but out of nine bloods, I'm the only one going to jail. So at that point, I'm tripping with everybody, my homies included. I'm like, you Negroes ain't with this blush. You know what I'm saying? You niggas, I'm tripping, nigga. Woo, 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 woo. I'm rah, 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 rah. As they say, I'm, you know, I'm barking. I'm rah, 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 rah. on my way out the door in the cuffs. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, only thing made it worth it, man. On my way out the pod, you know, now they split our wrecks up into two. You know, the top come out with the top, bottom come out with the bottom. You know what I'm saying? So everybody on the bottom run was in their cell watching. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, it was an older Hoover dude on the pod. I forget his name. I think his name was Green Eyes or something. Older cat on the pod, you know what I'm saying? And as I look to the left, he's standing in his door and he's looking at me and he's smiling and he's shaking his head. He like, yeah. He like, yeah, young Negro. You know what I'm saying? Do your stuff. You know what I'm saying? I like that. You know what I'm saying? And that right there, when I caught him, when I caught his eye and, and we made that exchange, you know, a real gangster gonna understand what a gangster's talking about. We ain't got to do no words. All it took was a smile and a head nod, and I and and I understood the assignment. You know what I'm saying? Salute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I put it down like that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man, I'm I cussed the homies out. I cussed everybody out on my way out the door. Me and the big dude. You know, from 60s, we the only two go to jail. You know what I'm saying? I think another one of their partners went to jail too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, so anybody know in Oklahoma County jail when you go to when you go to jail? I mean, you, you know, when you have a fight on the pod, a physical altercation, they are going to take you to medical. They have to, you know, just to make sure you good, just to make sure you know you didn't get cut or you didn't get you know no extra stuff. You know what I'm saying? I was straight. You know, I didn't have a I didn't have a, a bruise on me, and you know them Negroes couldn't drop me. You know what I'm saying? It felt like it was one on 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 nine. Now let me back up for a second. Now. The older homie dad's dog from family, from family gang, the older homie dad's dog, I that's one person that I actually seen with my own eyes come through and serve somebody. After that initial, you is, you is, we is cool. Boom, after he served me, you know, snuck me and we went to Skiffling, you know, I did see dad's dog come through and put somebody to bed. You understand what I'm saying? It, it seemed like he did a running baseball punch. I'm talking about as soon as me and big dude went to, here he come. I'm talking about put somebody down. You know what I'm saying? But as far as with my own eyes, that's all I seen because I was too busy getting active. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so, yeah, I go to medical. They check me out or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? 
I, you know, at first they, they trying to write me up and all this. They talking about what happened, what, you know, do you want to make a statement? No. Uh, what happened? I don't know. You know, why was you fighting? I wasn't fighting. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, even though they got me on camera standing on the table tripping, I don't know if they record audio, but video, I'm the, I'm the initiator. I'm the, you know, the stuff starter, you know, you know, so yeah, go back to your video footage, man. I ain't got nothing to say to y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they take me to medical, get me checked out, bring me back down after a couple hours or whatever. You know, anybody know, man, when you getting transported around in Oklahoma County Jail, you got to go to medical or anything like that, man, you just be sitting for a minute. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and when I got up there, I'm coming through the hallway in handcuffs. I see the dudes I was just getting down with. You know, they dissing the set. I'm dissing the set. Nigga, whoop de whoop. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'm banged out. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't talking about nothing. I just punched on all y'all and y'all couldn't drop me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm feeling myself, What, whatever, you know, whatnot. Blase, blase. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, now, this incident was the talk of the county jail. You know, I still, every time I bump into somebody that I was locked up with somewhere or, you know, that was in that situation, they bring that situation up. You know what I'm saying? Like, like real dog, you remember that time you stood on the table and you was like, nigga, F everybody, nigga. Whoop de whoop, F they shit, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? And all I can do is, you know, smile and kind of laugh it off. Cause, you know, right now, the person I am today, you know, that was foolishness. But, you know, back then, you know, I'm I'm with all that. You know what I'm saying? And that's just part of me being a rider. You know what I'm saying? That's just part of my duty, you know, to the whoop, you know, to handle business when it's time to handle business. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have to let no big dude size up my homeboy in front of me and it not be no issue. They having a meeting on the pod and all that negative. Not when I'm around, you know what I'm saying? That's just how I get down, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, so yeah, man, I get back down there and they let me on the pod to go pack my stuff. So when I hit the door, the homies, you know, they waiting for me, you know, they calling me, hey, Red Dog, come here. They like, come over here, come over here. So I'm going to the homie dog. He giving me a little canteen, like, I love you, bro. Ooh, I'm like, yeah, I know y'all niggas do love me. You know what I'm saying? I'm with that, you know what I mean? Yeah, nigga, I put that demo down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So the homie Capone, he called me to the cell. You know, he mad because I'm, you know, when I left out the door, I was, you know, insinuating that the homies wasn't getting down. And, you know, he called me to the door like, hey, Red Dog, come here. And he pointed to his eye. He like, hey, nigga, look at my shit. Look at my eye. I was getting down. Look at my eye. And I ain't gonna lie, the homie, I was swole up. You know what I'm saying? He was swole up. You know, so I couldn't, you know, I couldn't do nothing. But you know, man, I love y'all. You know, woo, woo, you know what I'm saying? And my other homie, P Dog, man, rest in peace, P Dog, Prentice Washington, man. We love you, bro. We miss you. You know what I'm saying? Straight rider. You know what I'm saying? He another one that I kind of wasn't worried about getting down. You know, because I couldn't see him physically with my eyes getting down, but I just know the homie. And he, and you know, they call him Hot Link because he had split a Negro open like a Hot Link. You know what I'm saying? Hit hard. You know what I'm saying? And me and him, we didn't we didn't did some locking, you know, with each other, you know what I'm saying? So I know the homie with with all that. I was just upset, you know, and I was getting hit from too many directions. And to me, I didn't understand that at the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, you know, um, how is it ten of us, ten of them? I'm serving the biggest one they got, you know, even his little his little um, you know, sidekick that tried to baseball slide through his legs. And I really mean that literally. The same dude that I checked earlier for staring at me, you know, but he never responded to that. You know what I'm saying? So the dude was a weenie. He couldn't wait. You know, he thought I was too focused on him. He thought he was supposed to get me and, you know, get some sucker punches in and they was supposed to jump me or something like that. But nah, man, not your boy. You know what I'm saying? If 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 we go to Skipling, listen here, man, I'm a big old dude, man. At the time, I'm probably 240, you know, 6'2". You know, I'm about 275 now, but at the time I'm working out, I'm, you know, I'm chest poked out. No, I'm not, I ain't going, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a rider. I ain't going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, anyway, yeah, so I get my stuff, holler at the homies, you know, P-Dog, he mad. He don't even want to get off the bunk and talk to me. I'm like, I love you, Woo, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'll holler at y'all, you know, a couple days or something when, I, when we bump into each other again. So, you know, boom, they take me on to my pod, you know what I mean? I get settled into my pod and all that, but you know... Uh, yeah, man, that's a story that a lot of people still talk about to this day. Um, that story was floating around the county for a long time, and it was retribution to my actions on the pod. You know, when I did that, you know, the homies were still over there. You know what I'm saying? So the homie that I was initially, you know, mad about, you know, the big dude, you know, 
um, mugging my homie down, you know, he was still over there, you know, and I'm gone. So I can't, you know, and they end up tearing the pot up again, you know what I mean? But, you know, that was another situation and I wasn't there physically. So, you know, I can't account for that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but yeah, man, um, that's just another story of mine, man. Uh, one of my turned up stories, one of my, you know, county jail, uh, legendary stories, man, that a lot of people still talk about. Um, but I don't want y'all to get it misconstrued, man. Anybody that's watching this, especially the youngsters, man, do not take my videos as, you know, um, me bragging about the lifestyle or me um, encouraging you to be a part of that lifestyle because that is definitely not how I'm living right now in the present. Um, I've been home from the penitentiary for four years. Um, in the process of that, um, I didn't got my CDL, my barber's license. You know, I'm doing real good for myself. Um, I done started this, you know, solo um, blog slash podcast or whatever you want to call it. I done started this. So I got a lot of good stuff going on for me and you can too. And uh, even though you may not be where you want to be today, but man, just stay down, stay positive and stay away from the streets. All the youngsters, man, that think it's cool to join a gang or think it's cool to ride around with the 30, the blick, with the switch and all that. Hey, man, it's only two ways. It's only two places that living like that is going to take you, man, to the penitentiary and to the graveyard. And you guarantee you guarantee those two places. This is not a this is not a, a guess or educated guess. This is a guarantee. And I guarantee you, if you don't listen to people like myself and your mother or your father or your grandmother or your you know your auntie or whoever the positive role models in your life are if you don't listen to them you definitely will see whatever state you're in you definitely will see that county jail you definitely will see that state penitentiary or the federal penitentiary and you will definitely you know see the graveyard you know what i'm saying at some point if you keep you know living and going down that road that you're going down um my sole purpose for making these videos is to touch somebody's life, man. These are testimonies. Um, these are stories that show where I've been in a form of me showing you who I am now. You know what I'm saying? So I want y'all to take these videos to heart, man. I appreciate every each and every one of y'all that view these videos, man. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. That's love, man. Um, if you want to support me, I appreciate y'all, man, for going down there and hitting that like button, going down there and hitting that subscribe button, and go ahead and tap that bell, man, so when I drop these bangers on y'all, you'll be the first to get the notification, and you can, uh, you know, go down memory lane with me, man. Take that trip down memory memory lane with your boy R2, man, the motherfucking dog, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, we're going uh, we're gonna to end it on that note. And yeah, man, I appreciate y'all, man. It's one love. Y'all stay safe, stay dangerous, man. And you know, keep it 100 at all times, man. It's your boy, R2, and I'm gone. R2, the motherfucking dog.